Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Half-Life. Now this is a game, I, I know this has been out forever, um, I actually know very little about this. This will be a blind playthrough. I, I know this guy, I think his name is Gordon Freeman, right? Right? I'm pretty sure I've heard that. And it's like a shooter game. And for a long time I've been afraid to play any kind of FPS games because I suck at them. But I want to know what this game is all about, so just got to get in and do it. Uh, let's see what we got here. A new game. Um... The training room. Is the training room important or do I need to just jump in here and do it? I should probably play it, but I'm gonna skip it. Medium. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 all right. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, Ugh. with an estimated high of 105. That sounds awful. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees yeah. at all times. All right, I'm enjoying this underground train. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Oh, we can walk around here. Cool. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. All right, I was gonna try to open the door, but this is the only thing that looks vaguely door-like to me, and I don't see a way to open it. So I guess we'll listen to the door. Can we hop? Nope. Okay, we can't hop out or anything, so I guess we just have to go along with it. Continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Regular radiation screenings are Missing required. Missing scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup 
is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Hmm, that's cheery. Ooh, is this finally our now exit? arriving at yeah. Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated ah. door right, and wait right. for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. No personal belongings here. We're Morning, ready to Mr. Go. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Oh, that's why no one else is on the train with me, eh? I bet I'm gonna have to wait for him to open this door. He's the man with the code. Hey, guys. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Wonderful. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. All right, then. Nothing from you? Okay. Sector C. Ah, it's good to see you. But there's no handy. You are here. So, okay, I'm guessing that this over here on the right is where the train docks. And so we must be in this little bit kind of at the beginning here. Not that that means a whole lot now, but perhaps eventually. All right. Anomalous material labs, research, development, and personnel facilities. Hmm, what, like a break room and stuff? Ooh, what do we got here? Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Big day today, Freeman. Yeah? Why is that? The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Aren't you a bit worried about that exponential cascade scenario we discussed? I'm not certain. Huh. All right. Out we go. Delay for another recalibration. Ooh, who's this? Ooh, sector B. Coolant reserve facility. Well, let's just wander all over the. Oh, we're not getting in there. What are you guys talking about? Ooh, nice laptop. Okay, what are these guys doing? Hmm. Well, there's our periodic table of the elements. I'm thinking I'm probably... I'm sure you check the eigen attenuators. I'm probably meant to be able to, to read this, so I'm going to have to take a look at my graphic setting and see if I can fix that. Oh, he's not going to be You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You oh, know I can't right. let you through here. Fine. away. Another smoking area. 
we okay. do. Okay. Yep. Here's our break room. Soda and enjoy. Is this like yes. fruit juice? This all looks nominal. Hmm. Ooh, what you cooking in there? All right. There's probably something I'm actually supposed to be doing instead of messing around, but. We'll get there eventually. Authorize. It's gonna be a bit busy. Oh, I get to go in. Kasali, Coomer, Birdwell, Jones, Whistery. All right, where's Freeman? Freeman? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? What's wrong with ties? All right, I should probably get in here and get my suit on. But first, let's look around. <laughs> That's odd. What's odd? That's kind of strange to be sitting in the bathroom. That's odd. Oh, you know, it's kind of odd. No mirror. This is all within theoretical limits. Is there someone in the bathroom telling me whatever's going on there is within theory? Okay, that's enough of the bathroom. I'll head over here. Okay, let's... let's see what we got back here in that wall. No way. Greetings! This side I wanted to check out. Okay. As I expected. Can I get in? Sorry, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. All right, then. Okay. We'll get the hazard suit. Why That's do we all have around. to wear these ridiculous? This is all the way I meant to go. Ah, here we are. All right, to my locker. It's a little walk-in kind of cubicle. What's this? I've got a child? Hmm. 30, 37th. What is that? Man. I don't know what that is. Okay. What is... I'm just hitting buttons because I didn't actually look and see how I control stuff. So let's see. WASD, I can strafe, I can jump. Duck is left control, that's handy. Swim. Mm. Anything about picking things up? Use item E. Alright. Primary attack is going to be mouse. Let's get up here. So I tried E, it's not doing anything. How do I get my suit on then? Or is that suit meant for me? Is that what I needed? Maybe there is a way to use this. Someone has hidden my glasses again. Or not. Wait. Oh, that's the sound I make when I walk on the, the metal steps. Okay. Hey, hey! There we go. It took me a minute, but we're getting there. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. I should run that test again. This is quite the suit we've got. 
right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. All right. Hydroelectric dam. That's probably where we need to go. Let's just see what's on this side. Working as a team. Captain Black, Command and Communication Center. I was just wondering if I could go up the ladder. That question's answered. Oops, this isn't really what I wanted to know. There we go. Ooh, I could go down. Oh, uh, if I could figure out how to use the yeah, there we go. There might not be anything down here. Report to administration level. Alright, there's nothing. Up, please. Oh, shoot. Now I can't. I screwed something up. I shouldn't have done this. I should have just gone in the door. So, um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to do some stuff over again. Hang on. Alright, this time we are not going to mess around. We're just gonna go right where we're supposed to go. Good morning, fellas. Hmm. Control room, test lab access, plasma cells, conversation chambers. Interesting. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Caution, we got a laser over here. to the control room. Ah, Gordon. Gentlemen. Here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. Oh, okay. In the test chamber. All right. Well, to the chest test chamber I go then, I suppose. What is this? It looks high tech and fancy. I have no clue. All right. Oh. So you guys come over here. Critical. What the hell is going on with oh. our equipment? That doesn't look good. To do this in the first place. Yeah, that's a problem. You might want to get maintenance to check into that. Just have to wait until after the test. All right. Greetings. Here we go, I guess. Hey guys. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Why is that? Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet, and potentially the most unstable. 
Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's I... a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well... Go I ahead. guess that's good to know. Um, I don't know what a resonance cascade is, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be worried. These guys know what they're doing, right? Oh, what is it they're attempting to do with me here? Ooh, I really want to climb up that ladder just because I can. But there's probably nothing to be gained from it. And I should have learned something from messing around with ladders a couple minutes ago. So we won't do it. Okay. I guess I, they want me to, what, climb right into this thing? Testing. Okay. Everything seems to be in order. Just all right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and oh. start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. All right, will do. Oop. Rotor it up. All right. So, what's it doing? We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. I guess I just stay up here. Cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. What do you need me to do? Overhead capacitors to one or five percent. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. In, well, no, it's well within acceptable bounds. Sustaining signal. I've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look oh. to the delivery system for your specimen. Okay, yep, I see. Oh, down, 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 Gordon. There we go. I have a feeling this isn't going to work out how uh, all of these science Standard types are hoping it will, huh? Ahead, oh, I just push it. The carrier is oh, oh, <laughs> oh dear! Well, that's not good. Woo. Should I, should I try to turn the rotors off? Don't worry about me, gentlemen. Just you guys keep what, doing what you're doing. <laughs> Unforeseen consequences. So is that a resonance cascade? Hmm. Well, guys, it appears we've broke the world. Yeah, I suppose I may as well hide out here. Oh, and he's done for. Oh, hey, hey, open up. There we go. 
Uh, is there anything I can do here? Ooh. Oh, that's really gruesome. Okay, um... Well, guys, whatever we were attempting here was wildly unsuccessful. This hall is actually where I'm meant to go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, give that thing some space. Uh, what's... Why didn't they listen? We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Okay. Uh, do you want to explain what happened? What is the resonance the cascade? I do oblige Oops. a fellow scientist. Um. I'll stay here. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Thanks, I guess. Huh. Well, those are some creepy critters. Uh, to the surface, I guess. Okay, I guess that works. We're through. exciting but i'm gonna go ahead and wind the episode down please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this come back next time we'll go see what we can smack with the crowbar and try and fight our way to the surface i don't i don't know what are we gonna do call 911 and say sorry guys there's been a, a resonance cascade you equipped to deal with that we'll see